What's good, y'all? This creator reshoot films back at it. You know what I mean? Been gone for a minute. I know. I always say it. It is what it is, man. Living life, working. Moved back to upstate New York. For those people who don't know, I was in California, but now I'm back in upstate New York. So, anyway, like I work in DaVinci Resolve now. I got tired of Premiere Pro always shutting down. Premiere Pro always um, render time takes forever. Still got the subscription to Premiere Pro, but I'm gonna stop that pretty soon. Anyway, my only problem with DaVinci Resolve is when I shoot music videos and I'm trying to sync all, it don't have no sync in the timeline. So you have to manually sync them on the timeline. That's annoying. I use Pluralize on Premiere Pro. Or sometimes, sometimes surprisingly, your Premiere Pro sync features works just fine, sometimes better than Pluralize. But anyway, so what I do is this. I open up Premiere Pro, anyway, I synced up everything. As you can see, everything synced up. Now, if you don't know how to sync in Premiere Pro with Pluralize, let me know, I'll do one about that. I think I might've done one. I don't really remember. But anyway, if you don't, I'll do it again update or something i don't know anyway yo this is what it is so you sync them up in premiere pro then you come over to file export and you do you export as a final cut pro xml all right now i already have one up here so you you export that way you can or cannot shut down premiere pro it don't matter i'm gonna shut it down anyway and you open up this DaVinci Resolve and then you import that XML into DaVinci Resolve and everything is there. It's all synced up, it's ready to go, straight up. I find that to be the easiest way, the fastest way for the moment when you shoot music videos or anything you wanna sync up that you have a lot of to sync up. Sync it up that way, XML, into DaVinci Resolve, and then open it up there and finish your work there. Until DaVinci Resolve uh, implements syncing on the timeline, this is how I gotta do it. So I figured there might be other people who are having the same issue, or are just tired of you know, doing it in DaVinci manually, which I ain't with at all. But anyway, let me act like I'm opening up a new one. Then go to file, import, timeline, import, whatever, EDL, XML, whatever. Pick it. All this is pretty much cool. Don't even worry about much of this unless you see something weird off, but it should be fine. Hit okay. And there you go. It's all here. It's the same exact as I had it before it might bring in the audio with two but you can just get rid of one i love davinci resolve i really do you know what I mean? you know what i'm saying she dope check her out anomaly ai um when the real video come out i'll post it when the actual video come out after she releases it but this is just the way i do it so i thought maybe you might you know want to check that out and uh it might help you a little bit also before you export make sure your timeline is at the frame rate you want it to be all right so if you i shot this whole video in 60p period in the black magic pocket 4k but in your timeline you actually put it in 24 because you want to see it play back in 24 make sure that you actually change your timeline to 24 before exporting the xml or depending on how you got your different resolve set up, it's gonna play back everything in slow motion. <laughs> so export it in 24 in Premiere in your XML and then it should open up fine in DaVinci Resolve. Any questions, anything, just let me know. Subscribe, you know what I mean? Hit the bell on the side so you get notified on time. Hit like, hit don't like, leave a comment. Let me know what's up, all right? This is We Shoot Films.